Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can run bash script on your remote machine from Java. So for that I'm going to use Jcraft, uh, more specifically an extension of Jcraft, which is this repository, JSCH extension. So first I'm going to download the zip. Open it up. And extract it. To my machine then to create a jar from this project uh, all you have to do is open the palm xml on your code editor and add one plugin i'm not sure why that is not already there uh, it would have been a lot easier uh, but anyway so first you need to add this plugin save it and in this directory open the git bash and from here uh, first you have to have uh, maven installed on your system check it first that it's already there if it's not uh, set it up first then you have to run mvn clean assembly so CM we have no assembly. Hopefully the spelling is correct. Run it. And it is going to create a jar file for you. So we are gonna use that. So you can see what are the things it creates. So this is the project and others are the library files informations. Okay, next in your favorite editor, create a new project. I'm gonna use IntelliJ, uh, it's gonna be a Gradle project. Uh, name your project. and going with the default and finish we resize it a bit okay so in here i'm gonna create a directory first called lib where I'm gonna put the library let's rename it to something simple okay and then in the build dot cradle add this compile files in the directory lib and the file name js js ch dot jar so it's gonna import it automatically make sure it's over here and then you can start writing your code Create a main method with psvm. It's gonna throw some kind of exception, but I'm gonna throw the exception over here. And then first, you have to have uh, a session factory for on the SSH connection. new and in here you're gonna put your username uh, my remote machine username is Linus and its IP is 192.168.106.128 this I'm running just a VM and uh, for uh, 
disabling the known host check we have to add a property which is sorry put strict sorry host key checking and mark it as no and then add it to the session now you need to add the password for the machine in my case it's just 87 then you can you have to create a command runner which is gonna run your command it's gonna take the session factory as argument now you can write your command on a string or you can directly execute it so I'm gonna write the command for now it's a simple command which is ls minus al something like that and now to run this command we have to use uh, command line uh, runner sorry, dot execute this command now this is going to be saved in the result so first i'm going to check if the result has any error with get error that is empty if it is empty then i'm gonna output the result it has to be out otherwise i'm gonna print out the error So that's pretty much it. Uh, now let's. Oh, finally, I have to close the runner. Don't forget to close it. And that's it. So let's run it and see what happens. And as you can see, it is connected to the remote machine and ran the command. So if you make a mistake, maybe like LSS and run the command, then you get the error, whatever error uh, there is. So yeah, uh, this is how you can run uh, bash script on a remote machine from your Java application. Do some maybe bash scripting with it. So yeah, that's all. That's all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any question, feel free to ask in the comment below. And the code will be available on the GitHub and the link will be available on the uh, video description. And this jar will be there. So you don't have to create the jar by yourself uh, if you don't want to. Or you can create it by yourself if you want. It's up to you. So yeah, that's all. Have a nice day. Bye bye.